On this episode of OBD for Everyone, we're going to be using an inexpensive OBD scanner and an iPhone app called OBD Fusion to find out why our check engine light is on. Our 1999 Nissan Altima has a check engine light, so let's find out why. We've got our scanner plugged in, and the engine is running, and I've got my iPad hooked up via Wi-Fi to my OBD scanner. We're all set to go. We will first come in here, and we'll start up OBD Fusion. We will connect. We want to go to Diagnostics. We'll touch yes to that. So here we can see we've got some trouble codes. We've got a P0325, which is a knock sensor one circuit, and a P1402, which is manufacturer defined. We will look these up in the factory shop manual, or we can hit Google to understand more of what those codes mean. Now notice we have a pending code, which is a P0325 knock sensor one circuit. Now we've got additional information at the bottom here. It says we've got a freeze frame from the P1402, which was the last trouble code that came Came up. We'll talk more about a freeze frame in a moment. Now a lot of people like to hit clear trouble codes to make that light go out. That's really a bad idea. If we do that we lose a lot of valuable diagnostic information and if we're due for a OBD based emissions test we will fail because the monitors, the emission monitors, have not run to completion. So let's not do that. Let's, let's do some more investigation first to understand what's going on. So to do that, we'll go to freeze frame. A freeze frame is a capture of what the engine was doing when the check engine light came on. If we would have cleared the check engine light, this is reset to zero, so we lose that information. So here we can see the code of P1402 when it was declared. Here's all what was going on. We're doing 62 kilometers per hour. Engine speed was just over 1200 RPM. Engine coolant was 57 degrees Celsius. This can be useful information. Now looking at all these things separately can kind of make it difficult to put the whole picture together. I like to run this diagnostic report. This captures everything into one report. So it shows the results of the monitor test, the trouble codes, the freeze frame, as well as the mode 6 data, which is the onboard monitoring. These are the tests that are run that will determine if a check engine light should go on or off. Now we're on mode 9, which is typically the VIN number, some emission calibration numbers. There's generally not too much information there, especially on the older cars. The PID snapshot is the current value of all the engine sensors that are supported through the OBD port. On the older vehicles, it's not very many. On the newer ones, it's much more. For example, here we get 17. On my 2011 G37, we get 42. Now that we've got that report done, I like to go to menu and we'll store that. As well, go to menu and share that. Okay, and that report will get sent out. So now at this point, we can disconnect. And that's how you read the trouble codes behind your check engine light with OBD Fusion. Thank <laughs> you.